Hey guys, today we are going to talk about is it finally time to buy right now? Now, that question depends on how low can you go. And the Timmies are really desperate. The more desperate the Timmies are, the more the Rudies will feed. Now, again, let's um, talk about, let's just talk about the situation that is presenting itself in a very honest manner that a lot of people won't ever say because they're too invested in this card game. Like I said, you know, I haven't bought any new cards for a while and I don't intend to buy a lot. Um, you know, I've actually decided not to go to Collecticon in lieu of going there because I might have bought too much or I might be tempted by the low, low prices. So the Timmies are getting very desperate. As you know, uh, there was that Timmy who sold the collection that he bought from Rudy as a Patreon. Uh, these were the most horrific investments that were ever made. Uh, we're talking about Shadows over Innistrad, Midnight Hunt. You know, what Rudy was sells boxes at $89 a box. Well, Midnight Hunt is barely over $40 a box. That's if you can sell it. The Amazon continues to dump the majority of the boxes he sold back to Rudy. My best guess is they were he was lowballed to oblivion. And do I have evidence of this? Yeah. Uh, when when you buy from Channel Fireball or you buy from me, I will tell you, oh, this guy used this buy list. I pay him this amount for it. Card Kingdom, same thing. When the information is transparent and readily available, let's say you go to a convention and the guy has a buy list out and it's, you know, a pretty solid buy list. You go there and you sell it as opposed to, let's say, a convention where no one has a solid number in a buy list. And they're all kind of just looking at how desperate you are. And based on how desperate you are, they give you a different price. So the guy in question is incredibly desperate for the right reasons. His mom, I believe, is going through something difficult right now and she needs his support so he decided that he would take some time off and he needed to sell his magic collection there's no doubt in my mind even though he's responding to comments the one thing that people want to know is what did you buy for and what did you sell it for well the answer of what he bought it for unless rudy was having like a sale on these things should have been 89 dollars a box so when rudy was selling midnight hunt as the next you know great set in the you know, what was a Baldur's Gate, Commander Legends is the next great set. On his Patreon, it says $89 a box. Now, we know on Amazon, these boxes go for far less money. And that is not including, again, Amazon, you have a subscription, correct. But um, that is not including the Amazon Prime videos. You get, you get just so much more out of Amazon Prime membership than you would get out of a Rudy membership even at the $15 mark, right? They're both very, very similar price. And I think Rudy's actually more expensive per year. So is it time to buy? Already Timmy is getting that desperate. Um, yeah, I think this Timmy sold his collection for a fraction. And when I mean a fraction, I mean like less than 20% of what he paid Rudy plus the membership and so on. Uh, he probably got back. When the two parties are not willing, neither party, is willing to actually address what price they bought it at and what price they sold at, you know the deal is not a, you know the deal is very one-sided in favor of the person buying the collection. I can just tell you straight up, that's how it's been. That's how it always will be. Now, the more Timmy's, like you want to see more Timmy's do this, you know, having to sell to Alpha Investment, after maybe the fifth or sixth Timmy, you probably dive in and say, you know what, I'll save these Timmy's. Uh, people say, how much higher do I pay than Alpha Investment? I pay the highest buy list. And the highest buy list is sometimes really painfully high, uh, it turns out. Uh, Dave and Adams, I do not have any idea what they were doing. Um, I have no idea what they were doing at the time, but their buy list on sealed boxes was insanely high, uh, even higher than, you know, New Campana and like, I mean, the, the buy list on just some of these older boxes were just so crazy. 
and it was probably a good time to get out. Um, and I was the only one foolish enough to really buy that amount of it. It was a gamble, and it did not pay off in the least. So again, the alpha investment scenario is very interesting. I'm keeping close tabs on it because the more desperate people sell the alpha investment, that means maybe there's margin. I pay a lot better than he does, even even with all these things considered. Um, I still pay more than he does because he pays so low. I mean, think about this for a moment. Whenever I do a deal, I go over the numbers I pay, and the seller has no issue with it, and I'm the buyer, so I have no issue with it because they're really honest, solid numbers, right? They're not, you know, hamster products or, you know, these products are all on Amazon for sale. Uh, the Brothers War was just on sale recently. The last uh, big sale was dumping Brothers War, I think, at $80 a box, maybe even less. Collector boxes and so on. It's kind of interesting, right? Rudy sells the product, and then Rudy buys the product back for $0.10 cents on the dollar. Um, I will say, however, that um, I'm looking at stuff. It's interesting. Uh, I don't think people are as desperate. I think in this case, um, things like are very normal. His mom got sick, and he wanted to take care of his mom. He wanted to spend some time with his mom. Um, around holidays, people want to spend time with their family. And I get these like very stupid comments in my comment section saying, oh, well, you can do both. No, you can't do both, man. Money is tight. You know, um, even Let me explain a little bit of how Bidenomics works. Most of the jobs being offered right now, like, you know, oh, wow, there's so many jobs are just government jobs. They're like government jobs. Like, I'm serious. If you remove the government from putting jobs and you, you say, hey, we're going to stop you guys from like offering jobs as like IRS agents, right? <laughs> Horde of IRS agents. Um, then you wouldn't actually have a strong economy in terms of jobs. A lot of it is floated by the U.S. government at this moment in time. Uh, I was talking to uh, a friend, and we both believe that this is going to be a very hard, hard winter for collectibles. I don't think people disagree, but what he was saying was that this will be the worst winter in terms of percentage, right? Because a lot of this junk, um, and it is junk, it is wax junk. Uh, it's just not um, interesting. It's not hyped, and you know, th there's too many. You look at this shadows. What is that? Midnight hunt. Like, who in their right mind is buying this unless it's like to open for fun, right? For cheap fun. No one's buying this to invest. And it is wild, in my opinion, that this was ever thought as an investment, and it was ever pushed out that anyone would ever buy more than six boxes which this individual did, of Midnight Hunt or Shadows over Innistrad. Like, this set is so awful that, like, no one should even be buying one box of this set, not to be quite frank with you. But to buy cases and cases and cases of it and just to sit on it is, um... It's wild. You know, it's wild what uh, 2020 and COVID really produced. Um, and now you, these people, or these Patreons are getting madder and madder. And I guarantee you, they're going to get even more mad when the December and November come and no one wants their cards still. At the end of the day, um, it is a very intriguing dilemma. And it is a dilemma where I think um, it's only going to get worse. And as people get more negative, uh, there's not much Rudy can do about that. The negativity is going to spread. Um, there's no other way to say it. He told you to invest. He told me to invest. Uh, the way I took it was we should all invest in steel product and go to the moon. 6'9", right? 6'9", Rudy Chan. 6'9". Uh, 420. But unfortunately, those magic numbers didn't actually do anything for the product or the mystery box. 